Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be building a simple note app using React Native and SQLite. The SQLite database that I will be using is available by default on both Android and iOS. So unlike the web apps where we have to separately install SQL or NoSQL databases, we do not need to install the database here. However, this database is more like our computer's local storage, meaning the data won't be stored in the cloud or on any external server. Now since I will be using Expo to develop the application, I will also use Expo SQLite library which provides access to a database that can be queried through a SQLite API. To install SQLite, run npx expo install expo dash SQLite in the terminal. Next, import the module from Expo SQLite. Import star as SQLite from Expo SQLite. Then in the F function, add some states cons node set node equal to use state. This will be a string then cons not array set not array equal to use state this will be an array then cons visible set visible equal to use state false this will be a boolean I will add a simple text here, text notes, uh, style it, style, margin of 10, text align center, On to it, pole and font size of 25. Now add view text, then add a text input field. Inside the text input field, write font sense equal to set node and on since text sorry set node and value of node placeholder write your node then for the styling give it a width of 350 height of 50 and a border width of 2 and border color gray and margin of 5 and a padding of 5 let's save it instead of a button I will add a touchable opacity to act as a button then on press and add a text I will just give a addition symbol here then in the on press I will call a add node function which I will write shortly now let's style it style display flex justify content center Align item center, background color of orange, and 
height 50, width of 50, and padding of 5, and also margin 5. And then for the text, I'll give it a font size of 30 and color of white. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, the text input and the button are working. In the add node function, I will just try to console log the node for the time being or open a new database using cons db equal to sqlite dot open database and I will keep it name it example dot db if the database does not exist it will be created we can now use the db object to run sql commands like creating tables inserting records querying data etc then i will use the use effect hook and inside it first i will check if a table exists if not it will create one and the syntax for it is db dot transaction tx tx dot execute sql and within parentheses inverted commas create table if not exists my notes that is the name dot table Then it will contain two columns. First will be the ID, integer, primary key. It will increase automatically, so auto increment. And the second column will be of note. And it will be of type text. This next block of code is actually to read the database. First, we will run a query to fetch the notes from the table db dot transaction tx tx dot execute sql select star from my notes command null comma tx object comma result set Then set node result set dot host dot underscore array. I will console log result set dot host dot underscore array. TS subject error and if there is an error, I will console log the error. The following code will fetch the nodes from the SQLite database if it exists. And then update the set node array. The purpose of the node array is to display the existing nodes on the screen. The nodes are being already fetched by the SQL query that we ran previously now let's write the function to add the node to the table uh, inside the add node function db dot transaction tx tx dot execute sql insert into my nodes node values and 
the node that you want to add and then tx object comma result set now i will declare a new array let prep node equal to node array this will contain this prep node is a temporary array that will store the values of the node array Prep node dot push id result set dot insert id and node this line will append the prep nodes array with a new node and its id then set node array pivot node finally the node array will be updated and set node is blank this line will make the text input blank after adding the node and ts object error this will console log if there is any error and i will console log the prep nodes just to test if it's working let's try it out okay the new node is being shown in the console i will also add an alert that will be shown if a new node is added the read operations we have already fetched the nodes from the database and have them stored in the node array now all we have to do is to display them on the screen by using the map method on the array now I will add some view tags and I will map over the node array node dot map item return view and I will put the key here item dot id and text and here i will display the notes item dot note so let's save it okay it is an error mm. this will be note array okay the notes are being displayed now i will add some styles style margin of 10 and here style font size will give you 15 and give them a margin of 5 and then elevation 5 this will give us shadow and effect. Then no, it's not working. Let's remove it. Font size 20. And then I will add some buttons here. That's a velocity for the delete and the edit buttons. 
Oh, I will show you how to import Phantasm icons that are installed along with Expo. Here I will add icon Phantasm name. Name I will grab from the website. From the website, give it a size of 20 and color of blue for the time being. Now let's go to their website. Source for trace. Okay, we'll grab this one. You know, make the bit of stone of trash can. Save it. Okay. Copy and paste below again. This one red. Edit. Paint to square. This one I will add. Paint to square. Save it. Okay. Now I will make a display of flex in direction row. Justify content. And let's say the view tag here and place the buttons inside the view tags and give it justify content no space between also in this view test make it flex display flex save it okay and i will add some margins here same way in the next button The function for the delete operation will be of two parts. The first part of the function will delete the node from the table and the second part will delete it from the node array in order to remove it from the screen. The function will be const delete node equal to id. This I will pass the ids as arguments db.transaction tx. tx will execute SQL and the query will be delete from my nodes where id equal to id tx object comma result set if result set dot rows affected greater than zero means if there is some changes to the rows in the uh, table this line will delete a node on the sqlite table Uh, we have to separately delete the node from the node array or for that let previous nodes equal to node array dot filter node. Node ID not equal to ID. This line will filter out the node with that particular ID from the array. Then update the set node array with the previous nodes tx object 
comma error and console of the error. Now call the delete function in the delete icon. Also pass the ID along with it. Let's try it out. Okay, it is working. To update the node, first I will use a function to populate the text input field with the node to be updated. Then I will use another function to first update the node in the SQLite table and then update the node array so that the updated node is displayed. Cons edit node equal to id the id of the node to be updated. Set node id id set visible true db dot injection tx tx should execute sql then the query select node from my tables where id equal to then passing the id of the node tx object comma result set set node result set dot rows dot array zero this array zero because it will be in the first position in that array the node dot node this will fetch the node from the table and populate the text input tx object comma error console log error in place of the add button we will add the ternary operator that will toggle between the add and edit buttons if i am editing the node the edit node will be displayed and vice versa Call the edit function that will add the node in the text input for editing. This should be my note. Sorry. Let's try it out. So, the edit button is working. Now to save the updated node, cons update node equal to db dot injection tx tx dot execute sql.
update my notes of set node equal to here passing the new node where id and the id of the node so here it will be node comma node id tx object result set If result set dot roots effect is greater than zero, set node array previous nodes. Return previous nodes dot map node. If node ID is equal to node ID, return node node text and return node, then set node blank means get the set uh, input text field as blank and set visible false and ts object error console log error There is an error. Okay. Uh, there was a mistake in naming the state variables. It is better to give the give different names to variables and table columns. So I will just declare a new variable here. Let text equal to node. The text will contain the values of the input field. Let's see if we can try it. It's working. Now this line will update the node in the table and this will make over the values of the nodes in the node array if id is same as the updated node the node will be edited